All right, just a couple minutes left here in the second uh, quarter. I think Malvern's up 8-1 or 8-2 at this point. This is this is just inexcusable as a defense. Uh, I'm not sure why Haverford is sleepwalking here. You got the ball in, in, in number 22, Jack Trainer stick. He, he's the best player on the field for Malvern. Uh, they know that, uh, the, regardless if you got your long pole on him or not. Just letting somebody come topside, no, no one even thinking about sliding and supporting. Just, just absolutely inexcusable. Uh, puts a nine-one with four minutes left to go in the in the second. I, again, I don't know Malvern's offense. You know, credits to them. They're they're coming out ready to play, but I'm not sure why Haverford's defense was was not ready to go. But regardless, I I would love to have been part of uh, the huddle on the Haverford side to hear what um, you know what Coach Nostra and Coach O'Grady had to say to fire these boys up because it, this game is far from over, fellas. Uh, and one thing I love about lacrosse is it's a it's a full 60 minute game, and uh, you'll see here in the, in the second half Haverford come alive. But you know it's goals like that where it really was uncontended, and the the goals off of the uh, the failed rides or the failed clears, excuse me, um, that that really come back to haunt Haverford, that they give Malvern a lead that makes it really challenging to chase down. Um, Yeah, great recognition there with the two long poles. Uh, again, they're trying to use number 30, TJ Malone, to set picks as we're uh, shutting him off and doing the best they can to get him the ball on his stick. But here's an end line situation. Again, he, uh, oh, he passed it up. Excuse me. Good new man support there by 13, Billy Carlini. Short to short, we're switching on those picks. You see those shorties just playing bookends. And here he is again, man. So short to short, we think we're all, we're all squared away here. The the shorties play it really well. You down down here in the corner, you got Sam supposed to be face guarding. TJ does a great job of flashing towards the sideline, gets the ball on his stick and, and finds somebody on the back pipe. All right, so now now. <laughs> Number 30 said the ball on his stick for a total of nine seconds. Uh, has two assists and a near miss. Uh, that could have been a goal. Um, again, you can tell why we were so concerned about him and put one of our best long poles face guarding him the entire game. Great ride, Matt Hilburn. And timeout, Malvern. Haverford jumped into a zone here. Try to slow down Malvern's offense a bit. Great sneak there by Scott White. Nice save by the goalie. It's a look we see on man up sometimes where we Try to catch the defense rotating out a little too quickly and, and slip it right behind them.
Helter Skelter off the ground ball. That's a tough one. Let me back it up before here. You see what Malmer's trying to get going here. So we start here. You got Trainer out here on the wing. Uh, as we pass to the point guy, point guy drags. One of the crease guys pops. Watch 22 come in here. He's going to be looking to set the seal. And it's supposed to be a throwback over here to, to number one. Um, but here you go. You pick up a ground ball, fellas. Pick up the ball, move it, and attack. Uh, and, and this is a prime example of catching a defense that's not quite ready out of a uh, out of a scramble situation uh, versus six offensive guys that are heads up attacking the goal. Um, and that puts puts Malvern at at ten two, you know, going into halftime here. But thirty seconds left, still time for more to happen. Malvern just just all over these guys in the middle of the field, uh, winning in between the lines. The speed and explosiveness of number 22 makes him tough. Well, on top of being a, having a great stick and a smart player. So there you go. We got Malvern coming out of a timeout. There's, uh, I don't know, probably 20 seconds left to go here in the half. 15 maybe. And buzzer beater goal at so again knowing five five seconds left here probably on on jack's dodge we're just going to get a quick one on cage jack puts a nice shot hits scott white he picks it up just zings it in there and, and that's the story of the entire first half the way the the ball bounced the cookie crumbled it, it was going all below um, and it seems like Haverford was kind of caught staring uh, at, at Blue the, the entire half. But this game, far from, despite being 11 nothing, it's far from over. And also, they got a penalty on that, you know, push from behind. So Malvern comes out to start, you know, scores the goal, and uh, you know, comes out to start the second half with a possession without having to face off. Which I think that's what happened. I'm. Maybe they're just in a zone here. I'm not sure. Maybe we missed a little bit there. Yeah, it looks like, sorry, it looks like we're evened up. I'm not sure if we just missed the uh, the opening face off there. <laughs> Quinn McCann switching to his left hand and just pulling the trigger going downhill. 40 seconds in, the 